Hi, in my last video, we have installed a camera inside the brow house and placed the brow house on another side of the lake. That's the brow house. And we used the re HDMI receiver to receive the video and output to HDMI TV. Now let's move inside. This is the video from the brow house, it's live. You can reference my another video how to install the camera and output to HDMI TV. There's one question left. In this solution, we don't have recording feature. Like what we mentioned, we can use the hard drive. This is the SSD hard drive. And install this hard drive to the HDMI receiver and record the video to the hard drive. We also can use the mechanic, this traditional hard drive, but it's too large. So I choose this small one. Okay, now let's get started. First, let's connect the power for the HDMI receiver and also remove the USB and HDMI cable so it's more easy to operate. We need to remove these two screws. And the other two on opposite sides. Now let's take off the top cover. This is the motherboard. We can connect the, we also need two cable, one for data, one for power. And we're supposed to connect the data cable to this connector. And the power code. This is for power. Right, you can see there's hold. This is reserved for let out the cable. You also need to use this protector. I think I should install this first. So the cable we can pass through the hole also got the protection. The next thing is just prepare the cover. I'm not going to fast the screw this moment in case there are any issues. Okay, the second thing just install the hard drive. Connect these two cables to hard drive. This is the for data. I think this should be the right, yes. And also the power. Okay, I think that would be it. Oh, should, okay, my, my fault. Now that's, that's it. We have installed hard drive. Now the hard drive is attached to the HDMI receiver. The next thing is just power up. And let, we need to hook back this USB connector. Now we're getting the last we getting the video. Now the system just boots up. It will take a while before the system boots up. And the next thing is about, I think, meanwhile we can talk, we can, I think you may already notice there's a network port. Can we connect this HDMI re receiver to a, like the router? The answer is yes, but I'm not go going to demonstrate in this video. Now, okay, here we are saying whether we want to format this hard drive or not. Okay, I just click okay. All right, o already finished. Let's just wait for a while before we can see the live. Okay, now video is live. All right, the hard drive has been installed. It will automatically recording. We don't need to do anything. You can see once we hard, once the HDMI receiver just detect the hard drive, it will try to format hard drive automatically. And after that, the HDMI recorder will start recording. We don't need to touch anything. Okay, now let's just play back the footage. Right click the mouse, you can find the playback option. From here you can choose the time and also the camera to the playback. Click OK. I think this green dot is the video we just record. Now this is the video recorded mm -hmm. by this hard drive. 
And that's one thing, it's about the uh, export the video to the, I mean, if you want to export the video and play back on like the PC computer, can we do that? Yes. And then we need to use this USB thumb. From here, you got another USB port. We can connect the USB thumb to the USB port. Okay, and then we can use this CC icon. Click one time, and we'll start choosing the star file. And we click another place and click this one again and stop. Okay. From here, we can see the USB thumb is being detected. Let's just click this one, back up. All right, from here, we can choose three format. I will use the MP4 because if it's more common, you can use, just use this file on different platforms. And click Start. Now the hard US HDMI receiver start downloading the file to the USB thumb. It's finished. All right, that will be all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.